Let's move on. Let's move on to Brewers Dodgers last game on the card here. Brewers Dodgers Suter versus Bueller. Tough, tough year for the Brewers, and then they lose Corbin Burns right before the playoffs start and have to go to Brent Suter. And I don't. I think that's fine. We know the Dodgers don't hit lefties hard, and I know Suter can't go long, but it's too bad. It's too bad they don't have Corbin Burns. Brewers versus righties. 217, 681 OPS. This Brewers offense can't be trusted. This Dodgers team is so good. They won 10 of their last 12. They did that with reigning NL MVP Cody Bellinger. What's he batting? 239 with a 455 slugging. Justin Turner dealing with a hamstring injury all through September. It's Mookie Betts and Corey Seager leading the way. This team looks so strong and then you have the brewers that can't hit they pick up vogelbach which turns out to be a spectacular pickup and then he hurts his leg and who knows if he's going to play here the dodgers just look dynamite but they're giant favorites here they open up minus 230 they're now minus 240 this total sitting at eight a few books have taken it down to seven and a half take it away noli your dodgers in action yeah, big game here, uh, Dodgers. Dodgers and the Milwaukee Brewers. Like you said, it is is it it is a bit of a shame. Corbin Byrne goes down. It's a big blow for this uh, Milwaukee Brewers team. You're talking about a Cy Young contending candidate pit, pitcher, and he he looked really good this year. Here they go to to Suter and uh, Brent Suter's numbers look really really good actually. His his hard hit rate, velocity, uh, exit velocities. All the advanced numbers look really good. A guy that they've used both out of the bullpen and a couple of starts. And uh, here, like you said, I don't expect him to go much more than three innings. Maybe you see the lineup once, maybe twice. I don't see it much more than that. And uh, something that we've seen from the Milwaukee Brewers in this playoffs before, Craig Council likes to use the bullpen a lot. He works the bullpen quite a bit, and he's got two of the best guys in there in Williams excuse me, Williams and Hader. So there's a lot of re lot of reasons to like the Milwaukee here. Uh, here here with Suter here, lefty going against the Dodgers. I expect them to pitch well in the beginning, talking about Dodger team that they, they don't hit lefties quite as well as righties. That's not a secret. That's the reason that they tried to acquire uh, Mookie Betts, and they got A.J. Pollock there, the more right-handed bats. And uh, like you said, Turner, Turner's been a question mark for, for most of the season. Injuries have been plagued him over the last few years. And uh, here in this game, we got Walker Bueller for the Dodgers. A uh, bit disappointing for me seeing, seeing him struggle with this blister. I think it's a bit ridiculous. He keeps dealing with this blister. I think get it figured out. You know, other elite pitchers have had blisters this year, and it didn't take them two stints in the 10-day DL to, or IL to, to get rid of it. But anyways, those are my uh, my frustrations. But he pitched well in his last outing. Four innings pitch, just one hit against the Oakland A's. Six Ks, one walk. And the guy's a big-time gamer. Uh, he's, he's a guy that pitches really well in tough situations and – is the ace of this ball club and i expect him to pitch really well and on the other side brent Suter, i expect him to, to pitch well here early and i like the the milwaukee brewers uh bullpen quite a bit so here in this game i'm looking at the first five under four and a half first five under four and a half yeah the one on the west coast the wind's not blowing out heavy first five under four and a half i get it i get it let's see what we're being offered here some books juiced more than others, others, excuse me, and, and bookmakers moved it all the way down to four already. Who comes in after Suter? Do you have an idea of how they're going to roll their bullpen out? Um, uh, when I tried to listen to it, uh, I, when, when asked about it, uh, Craig Council was getting a little bit sm little smart with the reporters. They are asking uh, if he was going get, to gonna get clever or, some, or something like that, and he said, all I can guarantee you is there will be a pitcher on the mound throwing the ball. Uh, so – he got a little frustrated at that time. Maybe it was the 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 guys the guy asking the question. But yeah, here I don't think uh, whether being at the games a little bit earlier, something that I really don't like. But I do expect them to deal a little bit with shadows towards the uh, towards the end of the towards the end, maybe in the fifth inning. I like it. That first five under four and a half. I like it a lot, and I think I will roll with you there.